So far, we've developed the idea that information structures are partitions of the state space, which captures the idea that information is a reduction in uncertainty. We're now going to have a look at the idea of comparing information structures. So we'd like to be able to say that one person maybe has better information than another person or worse information. What does this mean when we're talking about partitions of a state space as an information structure? To do this, we're just going to need to develop a mathematical definition of ranking different partitions. So let's go on paper and do this now. In order to compare two information structures and to be able to make uh, comments like one information structure is better than the other, we're going to use the notion of one information structure being finer than another. OK, so let's develop this idea now. So first, we'll need some notation. So if we're given an information structure that looks like this, so it's a collection of events, A1 to AK, so it's a, an abstract information structure. It's any partition of the state space. Um, we're going to let A of S, OK, so A brackets S be um, the particular AI that contains S. OK, so for any state of the world S, we know that state belongs to one of these information sets in the information structure. And we'll just label that particular information set as A brackets S. So it's a very intuitive notation. OK, so what does it mean for one information structure to be finer than the other? OK, now the intuition for this is as following a partition chops up the state space into pieces. OK, now essentially what will happen if we have a finer partition is that we chop up first to get a partition and then kind of keep chopping. OK, so we get kind of smaller pieces, um, but in a very specific sense. OK, so let's be specific. So let's say uh, the information structure A1 to A K is, I'll put it in capitals, is finer, that's the thing we're defining, than uh, a different information structure, let's say B1 to um, B. Now, it could have a different number, so let's put K prime as the number of information sets in B. Um, what do we mean for it to be finer? Well, this... Uh, If, um, if I take any state of the world, okay, and think about AS, so this is the information set from this partition that contains S, okay? Now, when I say finer, I want this to be smaller than the equivalent set from information structure B, okay? Now, smaller in a very concrete sense, I want it to be a subset. OK, so I'll put subset or equals. Um, so it's a weak definition. You could do strict um, and it wouldn't change things too much. So AS is a subset of BS. OK, so what does this mean? We're saying that, well, if AS is smaller than BS, it's strictly contained within BS. Well, if I have information structure B, I'm able, and the true state is S, then I'm able to rule out everything outside of BS, okay? Now, if I have information structure A, then I'm able to do the same, but I'm also able to rule out possibly more, okay? So we'll see some examples of this in practice. So, but that was just one state. So this is a very strict definition. This is going to say, well, this isn't just true for some states. This is true for all s in the state space okay so for every single state this information structure always narrows the uh, event down more than this information structure 
Okay, I'm always able to rule out more things if I use this information than if I use this information. Okay, so it's a very strict definition. It won't, it won't be the case that we can always compare to, you know, if we take two different information structures, I can't always say that one is finer than the other. It's a very strict requirement. One way of saying this is that this finer than relationship, it's not a complete order. It's an incomplete order. Okay. But when I can, when I am able to say that A is finer than B, then it seems unambiguous that this information structure is superior to this information structure because whatever the state of the world is, I'm always able to rule out more things if I use information A compared to B, okay? So we'll take that as our, um, so finer than is going to be the same thing for us as saying better information, okay? So that's what we mean to say one person has better information than another. It's an unambiguous definition. This person's information is better in every state of the world. They're able to rule out more things, never less than the other person. Okay. I suppose you could say is weakly a subset for all states. And there is one subset where this is strict. That would be a sensible definition as well. Okay. And um, this weak definition, just we can just say A is weakly finer than itself. Okay, so it's not a huge problem. And that's quite typical uh, with definitions. So for instance, when we talk about risk aversion, risk neutrality is included in that definition. So it's very common. Okay, um, so we, we have an idea of better information. So now two important um, concepts. Asymmetric information. writing these in capitals because they're important definitions, but I'll just describe what they are in words. So when I say there is asymmetric information between two different people, what I mean is that one of those individuals has better information than the other, okay? In either direction, it could be person A has better than B or person B has better than A, okay? So when I can apply the finer than ranking and say, this person's information structure is a finer partition than the others, then that person has better information. And we set, we call that a situation of asymmetric information. Okay. Now we can't always rank people's information according to this criteria, but so when they're not the same, so if people have different information, but neither is better according to the finer than relationship, uh, then we say there is heterogeneous information. Okay, so that literally just means information of different types. Neither is unambiguously better. They are just of different types. Okay. Um, homogeneous information, you could kind of include the, uh, well, if we have the same information, or asymmetric information, we could call that homogeneous. It's information of the same type, but ones might be better. Um, but heterogeneous information just means information of different types. I cannot rank them using this criteria. So let's have a look at some examples. So having better information means having a finer partition Okay, if one person's information structure is a finer partition of the state space than another person's, then they have better information. Okay, and when one person has better information than the other, either way around, we say there is asymmetric information. If two people have different information, but neither is better in the sense of their information structures are finer, then we say there is heterogeneous information. Let's have a look at some examples now. So here I've represented two different decision makers, Alice in blue and Bob in pink. Now Alice's information structure uh, contains four information sets, A1, A2, A3 and A4. 
the states 1, 2, and 3 are each in their own separate information sets. So Alice can tell the difference between a 1 and a 2 and a 3. If the dice is rolled, she can tell the difference between them. But if it's a high number, a 4, a 5, or a 6, they all look the same uh, in Alice's point of view. Bob's information structure is slightly different. He is able to identify when the number one is rolled. But to Bob, two and three look exactly the same. So uh, the, the same colour stickers are covering the two and the three, you might imagine. Um, so Bob's information structure has B1 as a subset which just contains the state one. B2, his second information set, contains the states 2 and 3, and his third information set, B3, groups states 4, 5, and 6 together. So Bob also cannot tell the difference between any of the high numbers, although, like Alice, he knows when a high number has been rolled. So here's an exercise that I'd like you to, to practice now, and make sure that when you do this, um, you apply the formal definitions that we've developed so far. So as an exercise, prove that there is asymmetric information between Alice and Bob. I will do this in a moment on paper. So please pause the tape now, have a go at the exercise, and then come back and I will go through a solution. Okay, so let's prove in uh, this example that there is asymmetric information between Alice and Bob. Very quickly, let's just remember what we need to do. Essentially, to show that there is asymmetric information, we need to show that one individual has better information than the other. So we need to show that one of the information sets, Alice or Bob's, is finer than the other, which means confirming uh, that A of S is a subset of B of S for all states S. So let's, let's actually do this. It's quite mechanical now. Um, so let's write out uh, Alice's information set. So Alice has um, an information set. It's a set that contains um, four subsets, one by itself, um, two by itself. Please excuse my curly braces. Three by itself and then four, five, and six. Okay, so there's Alice's information structure and Bob's information structure. Um, Bob had an information set that just contained one by itself, um, that can, an information set that contained both two and three, and then an information set which contained four, five, six. Okay. Okay. And remember the set of states in this case is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Because we're going to need to check for every single state. Now I could intuitively argue already that I think Alice has better information than Bob. Okay. So you could make an intuitive argument and say, look, Alice can tell the difference between a one and everything else, and so can Bob. Alice uh, can't tell the difference between four, five, and six, but neither can Bob. But Alice can tell the difference between a two and a three, but Bob can't do that. So Alice has better information, okay? And that's perfectly fine. That captures the intuition of what's going on. However, we've developed a formal definition, a way of comparing any abstract information sets. We've done the hard work. So let's just use our definition and prove formally that Alice has better information rather than just relying on semi-convincing arguments. Okay, so a mathematical proof is the most uh, convincing of all arguments. So I just need to check that Alice's information structure is finer than Bob's. Okay, for all S, A of S is a subset of B of S. So let's do this. Let's take uh, state one. Okay, so let's write Alice brackets one to be the information set from Alice's uh, information structure that contains state one. Okay, now this is equal to 
a set with just one all by itself. And this is also equal to Bob's information set that contains state one, okay? So, so far, so good. Let's check state two. Alice two is equal to um, a set with just two in it. And this is a strict subset of a set which has a two and a three in it, which is equal to Bob's information set that contains two, okay? So in a sense, I feel like ticking these, going check, check, so far, so good. And then I just continue with this. Alice three is equal to a set with just three in it, okay? And this is a strict subset of two and three, which is the information set from Bob's information structure that contains three. So that's good. And um, Alice four is equal to, and so on. Okay, so let, let's just do Alice four is equal to four, five, and six. And this is equal to Bob's uh, information that set that contains four. And then I could just, for completeness, I could write out the last two lines. I won't do it now, but you could just write Alice is four is equal to Alice five is equal to Alice six is equal to this, which is equal to Bob's four and Bob's five and Bob's six. Okay, so tick uh, three times. Uh, we've checked every single state in the state space. And in every case, we've confirmed that the information set from Alice's structure that contains that state is a set which is always a subset or equal to the equivalent information set from Bob's structure. So we've now proved that Alice has better information than Bob and the definition of asymmetric information says if one individual has better information than the other, then we're in a situation of asymmetric information. Okay, so don't forget that final sentence. Include the definition of asymmetric information and then make include the definition of the finer than uh, ranking. Prove that Alice's is finer than Bob's. Alice's information structure is finer than Bob's. And then conclude that uh, there is asymmetric information. To give a second example, let's keep Bob's information the same, but now I've replaced Alice with a new decision maker, Charlie, who has a different information structure. Charlie's information structure looks like this. There are three information sets, C1, C2, and C3. Information set C1 contains the states one and two. So to Charlie, the states one and two look exactly the same. He cannot tell the difference between a one and a two. The number three is in its own information set and four, five and six are grouped into one information set. So like Bob, Charlie cannot tell the difference between a four, five and a six. Although similar to Bob, he can tell the difference between high numbers and low numbers. So as an exercise, let's take these information sets and prove that in this case, there is heterogeneous information between Charlie and Bob. We already know that their information structures are different, so we simply need to prove that Bob's information is not finer than Charlie's, and we also need to prove the converse, that Charlie's information partition is not finer than Bob's. So if neither is better in either direction, then we're in a situation of heterogeneous information. I would like you to have a go at this exercise and we will discuss the solution to this on the course Piazza Forum. So make sure you're signed up for the forum and post solutions there and we'll address any questions um, on that forum.